IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Teddy Taylor. And I'm Sailor Betts. Hey Sailor, what do you want for Christmas? I'm actually not sure yet, what about you? I kind of want a pet toad. Okay then, let's get into this. <laughs> <laughs> As the winter sports are beginning to face competition, the legend makers would like to remind everybody that they are in need of your help. You can submit pictures and stories to the Replay It app, and you can also talk to Mrs. Malicote and the other members to help write the story that went with the event. With your help, this will be ensuring that this year's legend will be a success. Check out this preview of the weekly schedules remaining in this semester. Well done, Gru. Rather impressive. Now, the rest of the plan is simple. I shrink the moon and grab the moon. In all seriousness, the block schedule for next week is 1357 on Monday, 2x46 on Tuesday, 1357 again on Wednesday, and 264x on Thursday, with a talent show taking place during Flex. Tomorrow night is Cabaret. The theme of the show is called Time Warp. Our auditorium will be hosting a musical about Berlin in the 30s with dancing, singing, and a high socioeconomic class showing their wealth and power. Then the time warps through the years of music. The show is at 7.15, but the pre-show is at 6.30 for dinner before. We hope to see you there. Tickets are available at bit.ly slash ihcabaret19. Our seniors went to Chicago last Sunday for what turned out to be a very memorable experience. Let's check out a short video from the trip. It sure was a fun trip. The remodeled tennis court is finally looking close. From a stone-lined pit, the tennis court will be ready for the spring season. Only a handful of delays from when they said they would be finished, but we'll see how much longer it will take. Dylan did some reporting on end of semester grades. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Dylan Condor, and this episode will be a bit darker. We're going to go into more of the horror today, and if you feel queasy around the dark and sad parts of life, then please turn away down. We're going to be talking about semester grades. Now, Steven, yeah. how are your semester grades looking? Oh, heck, baby. Um, I have uh, missing grades right now. I have a C and two Bs. Yeah. Now, you two gentlemen, how's your semester grades looking? I'm failing in all of my classes and at life. <laughs> Same. All right. How are your semester grades doing? Oh, uh, they're, they're good enough. <laughs> I got good enough? You can't play uh, basketball. <laughs> 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 How are your grades this, uh, right now? Your semester grades? Not good. Can you read them out to me? Your personal information? Uh, yeah. Um. You don't have to get it out. You can just say. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Um. What you remember them being? Well, I have an A in one class. That's good. Uh, a one, one. Um, a B in two other classes. That's nice. That's um, nice. One professor gave me an E. I don't know how that works. An E. Okay. Yeah. Um. But I think I'm pretty good, and I think I have a C in one of them. You, Charlie. How are your semester grades doing right now? Solid. Solid, but not really? Fantastic. Mm. Hayden once. No! How are your semester grades doing right now? Oh, decent. 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 Please don't put that. Wow. Talk about scary. The Indian Hill trivia team is on fire. This week, the team played against Wyoming in the fifth week of the competition. The varsity team remains undefeated with a score of 66 to 53. Well, the JV team almost came back with a score of 40 to 49. Fantastic job. The new Indian Hill Bagel Toss team has started with weekly practices around school. 
Bagel toss is a hacky sack-like sport where you hit a bagel in the air as long as you can with the most amount of players. If one person loses, everyone loses. Follow them at BagelTossIH on Instagram to keep up to date of practices and future tryouts. We have been sharing information about the new Taipei City Cincinnati Exchange Program for the past few weeks. Check out this promotional video. The new Taipei City Cincinnati Exchange Program is a student exchange program that is offered to high school students who are interested in going to new Taipei City and exploring a different culture. The experience consists of immersing into the life of a student who goes to school and lives in Taiwan. The program will take place from June 5, 2020 to June 20, 2020, and the deadline to apply for this program is at the end of January 2020. In total, this trip costs $2,700, but scholarship money is available. Let's hear from two students who went on this incredible trip over the summer. Coming to Taiwan has been a very eye-opening experience. I have learned so much about the culture, and it's very interesting seeing how, how different it is across the, or across the world. Coming to Taiwan has shown me that international travel doesn't have to be scary and it can show me that you can make friends with anyone even if you don't understand their language. People, no matter where you are, have the potential to be accepting, loving, caring people and they also have the potential to be a family away from home. Well, are you finally intrigued? If so, awesome! If you have any interest at all in going to New Taipei City, please look at the informational flyer at the end of this video or talk to Mr. Damadeo. Join us on this amazing adventure! Here's your weekly reminder that the Smile Club needs everyone to donate plastic bags to turn into sleeping mats for the homeless. The drive will end on December 26th and collections will take place every Wednesday and Thursday. It takes a lot of bags to create one sleeping mat, so if just everyone donates two to three bags, we can clean mats for at least five homeless people. If you have any questions, contact Vontada Rostogi. Boys basketball won against Anderson this Monday with a final score of 59-51, to with Trey Lopez scoring 21 points. Girls basketball won against Clinton Massey on Monday with a score of 69-36. to Nice job, Braves. Our Braves wrestling team have started their season and we will have more on that in the coming weeks. Indoor track season has also started and we will have more about how their season is doing early next year. Our Aqua Braves won their tri-swim meet on Tuesday against Marymont and Taylor with a win margin of over 50 points. Great job, Aqua Braves. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Be sure to come out to Deer Park High School tonight, which should be a very entertaining game for boys basketball. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. <laughs> Charlie, did you have fun on your trip? I did. What's your favorite dance move? The Nina. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite lotion scent? A uh, lavender. <laughs> Orange blossom. <laughs> sweet pea. Cocoa butter. Um, sweet pea. That's doggies! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't have one. Why? Because I don't use lotion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh.